Hey guys, welcome back to Coffin Up Stitches. Um, this is the second part to the red cardigan. I have already finished mine during my move and everything. Just something to do while, you know, wait maybe for stuff to arrive and unpack and stuff. So I did go ahead and finish it, but I didn't have anywhere to film. Still trying to get my filming area set up, so I am sorry about the filming tonight. If it's a little hard to see with the lighting and everything, I hope I have enough for you guys to be able to see. But this is pretty simple. This is gonna be the arms. Um, you're gonna be using the same stitch you did for the body. Really the only thing that you need to do is measure from your wrist to about your elbow. So mine is falling about 12 inches, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it to 13 just to give me that little extra lead way if I need it. Then you're going to want to measure your bicep. Mine was 13, I kept it at 13, but if you want more of a slouchy look, I would add maybe two or three inches to that. But you definitely are gonna need a tape measure to measure from your wrist to your elbow. Um, if you want it to be longer, maybe measure from your wrist to the top of your shoulder. I did mine just cause I wanted my sleeves a little bit longer. Also measure your bicep to make sure you have the correct width as, as that piece is growing to go around your arm and your bicep there. Like I said, mine was 13. I kept it at 13 because with the stitch that we are using, the back post only, you will have some stretch and some give in, in that. So just for a refresher for you guys and kind of show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna redo that stitch that we done in the first one, the first video. Um, so since this is just gonna be a sample instead of the actual whole arm, I'm just gonna do a little bit here for you. So you're gonna chain, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chain 10. This yarn is very, very splitty. And it is by Red Heart. Um, I think it's an older one. This one's called Hot Red, if you like this color of red. But this is one of, one of the ones that was given to me in the pack that was gifted to me. There's like four skeins of these. So my Christmas tree this year is gonna have a lot of red on it probably maybe make like a popcorn or something with it. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, I will have a lot of red. <laughs> um, may even do another red cardigan, just a bright red one. So there's 10. So what you're gonna do, let's see if I can get this camera a little bit closer. There we go. What you're gonna do is you are gonna go into, I'm gonna make one more, cause you know you need an extra one for your turning chain. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in here and you are going to do single crochets all the way down. This whole cardigan is built out of single crochets. get to the very end and that's the last one so then you're gonna chain one turn your work and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna not go into this one this one is your chain one so you're gonna go into this next one into the back loop only just like we did on the body of the cardigan the back loop only okay and you're gonna do that until you get the width that you need for your for your bicep in order for it to fit around your arm, your bicep area. Sorry, I have got my yarn pulling from the right and not the left and it is getting wrapped around everything. Okay, so you get to the end, again, chain one. Don't go into this first one, go into the second one. Now 
I just gotta tell you guys, I don't know um, how many of you have kids or anything, but if you have any that is around my son's age, every time, and he knows what I work on. Um, I was actually wearing my cardigan outside tonight because I've been really cold today for some reason, I guess, because it's actually 75 degrees in Alabama, so that's chilly for us. But um, every time I tell him something about a cardigan, he starts singing that song, something about, I want to take a picture with Cardi B in my cardigan or something, every time. And he, he does it because he knows I'll fall for it and be like, oh, it's a cardigan. And then as soon as he starts, I'm just like, why did I tell you what I was doing? Because I, I know what he's going to do as soon as I say it, but I say it anyway. So if you guys have any kids around that age, let me know if they sing that song when you, when, uh, you was telling them what you was working on if they asked. My son is 13. He'll be 14 September the 3rd. So he is... Uh, he's getting older on me. He's got him a little mustache and everything going, which... I thought I had a couple of years. Of course, I always think I have a couple of years. Kids learn stuff so early now, and they start getting things earlier than what we did. I mean, you know, like, I didn't, I mean, his voice started squeaking when he was like 10 and a half, 11, and it's finally starting to settle into a deeper voice now at almost 14, but I don't ever remember that happening until kids was 14. Okay, so this is my little sample of a arm, of a sleeve for an arm. So what you're going to do when you get done is you're going to fold this long ways like this for the arm part of it. So like this is going to be like a sleeve for like my pinky or whatever, okay? And it's got a little stretch and a little give with the stitch that we're doing. So what you're going to do is you are going to take this this yarn here on the end when you when you do the same of course both ends are going to be left open obviously so what you're going to do is you're going to take the yarn that's still in there so you don't have to cut or anything and you're just going to plop it in there and you're going to slip stitch so we're not on single crochet we're going to slip stitch, okay? So you're going to fully pull that through the hook. So I go under both loops, a loop on the other side, grab the yarn, pull it through those stitches, underneath those stitches, this yarn's wanting to split. And then you're going to have two hooks, but instead of yarning over, you're just going to pull it through again. And that's going to be your slip stitch. And you're going to do that all the way down. All the way down the seam there. You're just going to slip stitch all the way down for your arm piece. And this will be your little seam. And I'm also going to show you how to seam up the, um, the actual body of the cardigan as well with this same little swatch here. And then when you get to the end, what you're going to do is you're going to cut that string and then you're going to pull it all, you're just going to pull that string all the way through that right there and tighten it down with with a little knot. But since I'm gonna be showing you how to seam up the body of the cardigan with this as well, I'm gonna undo that. Again, the body of the cardigan was also single crochets in the back loop only. So for the body of the cardigan, for the sleeve, we went long ways. But for the body of the cardigan, you want to make sure that your rows are going horizontal. Going this way, going this way, to where the sleeve they was they was running long ways. So for the body, you want it to run horizontal. Like a horizon. You know, it's going back and forth from left to right instead of from top to bottom. 
you want it to go from left to right. So that's how that's going to lay. And you're going to do the same thing with the body of the cardigan. You're just going to go in like so. And you're going to slip stitch. Now you want to leave enough room for your arm, a hole for your arm to go through on this end right here. Cause it's gonna kind of go over you like a poncho when you put it on. And I'll have a video of me putting mine on to kind of show you how it's gonna look. But you're gonna leave so much room up here for your arm to go through on each side. So like, here's my finger going through as my arm. Okay, so you're gonna leave so much room. You're gonna tie off the same way that you did like, that you did for the other part of this. But that's my little swatch to show you guys because I did finish mine and I didn't film it because I was just doing it here and there when I could and I wanted to make sure that I got it done before Halloween and Christmas and all that because it is red and black. So it's very Halloweeny um, Christmas, but it's actually kind of almost looks store-bought so i'm very proud of that piece um but like i said i'll have a video of me wearing that for you guys um the fur i will probably just show you how to do it even though it's already on my on my cardigan i'll just show you guys how i did that um because it's just simple um single crochets sorry words are leaving me i'm doing this late at night um only time I could find where it was quiet in the house today so um but we will um hopefully I'll have that choker out soon I was hoping to have it out before but moving has just really kept me on my toes and trying to get everything done and working at the same time and getting used back to school schedule again that that's a that's another thing that's kept me just getting used to that schedule again but I hope to see you guys here within the next couple of days with um, me showing you how I put the fur on the cardigan and letting you see what it turned out like. I hope this sample was um, informative and showed you how to uh, finish it. Again, like I said, this this particular red is a very bright red. It's hot, hot red and it is by Red Heart. I don't even know if they make it anymore because this is it, it's splitting like really bad like it's some older yarn like i don't even think they use this print anymore for their stuff but if you're interested in this color it's 390 hot red um my cardigan itself you can't really tell it but it does have some different red tones in it um i was just trying to use all the red i could but the um, fur yarn that I used is, was Hobby Lobby. I didn't get the line brand one because they did not have it at my Michaels. So I wasn't able to get it. So I did use Hobby Lobby's. It was $9.99. Um, and I just got the black because the red just made it look a uh, red fur, which I kind of matched up to some red. It just looked really off um, for what I could find at my Joann's Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I didn't like it. Um, but i'll be filming that here hopefully tomorrow night so i can have it out right after this video uploads and posts um on how i put the fur on there and everything if you guys would prefer for me to do a whole arm video on how to do that just let me know because my next couple of videos with the fur and how to attach i'm just going to kind of show you how i did it without actually having to do it and just give you a few pointers that I that I um, noticed when I was putting mine together to help you guys out. But that is it for today. Um, just wanted a quick video to show you how to get that done. Um, if you're doing the cardigan with me, just so you can get it done. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.